So, I've been reviewing some videos and uh, I realized of something. Uh, there is a load of shame and regret I'm dealing with and uh, that's something I should address. So, yeah, let's get on with it, you know, shall we? And very quickly because I have students coming over. So, really quickly, uh, there is a humongous amount of shame and expectations that they're implanted into us when we're growing up and uh, that leads to self-sabotage and, you know, feeling guilty and even guilty of feeling happy. I think this is what's happening in the vast majority of us nowadays is that if we ever manage to be happy we feel guilty for it because how dare I? How dare I to be happy? You know, it's just... It's a really self-destructive mentality that has been implanted into us and like are we even worthy of being happy or we're just pretending that we are? Have we made the necessary crap? Oh, necessary sacrifices have we made if we went have we done everything we needed to do to deserve it have we how, why am I supposed to and to be happy remind me again <laughs> and I know there is a lot of people that would say oh but come on yes you are this will where the happiness and the reality is that Many of us have been bullied into believing that we're not and uh, have been essentially, not brainwashed, but close enough, <laughs> into feeling shame and feeling guilt. And everything about us is just wrong. No matter what we do, everything is wrong. Because if you do, you're not doing good enough. And if you're not doing anything, you're not doing enough. And if you, oh, you're doing nothing at all, and how dare you? And if you're doing something wrong, oh, you terrible piece of crap, how dare you? So, it's that double binding situationship, in, I think that's how you call it, in which you're cursed for doing, cursed for not doing, and cursed for doing something wrong. It's just like, there is no winning in a situation like that. And you just fill with shame and uh, fear, which is great, because that never led to self-sabotage, so yeah, that's great, right? And the worst thing is we have been programmed to feel like that, so you're kind of unaware what's happening and there's it flies beneath your radar and you can't tell when you're self-sabotaging in that way. You can't realize. It's out of your vision, it's out of your awareness. And happiness is completely out of your comfort zone. So it feels like unsafe and dirty and wrong and how dare you, how dare I, right? And how do you move on from that? How do you keep going? How do you grow out of it? Tell me, because I don't know. It's just a part of me feels ashamed all of the time, even for things I haven't done. And a uh, part of me feels also ashamed for caring about myself, like ashamed of caring about myself and there is a humongous amount of guilt that comes with it. And how dare I to be happy or to spend money on yourself? Like, I'm not saying like a humongous amount, like one dollar in a lipstick. How dare you? How dare I to spend a dollar? Oh my dear God. How dare you? Do you think of going to a dentist? How dare you? And uh, 
it becomes a burdensome thing because shame is no minor thing. It's, it's really heavy. And it weighs heavy on you. Really heavy. And there isn't much you can do about it. Because it is ingrained in you. So you kind of have to go not just in a shallow manner, you have to go deep. Deep to go after it, and it's just like, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? Ah, uh, I have no idea. It's just, what are you supposed to do with this, with this kind of baggage? And the question is. How do you grow out of shame and not exactly regret? There is nothing in particular I regret. How do you grow out of shame? Yeah. And which it leads you to self sabotaging. How do you grow out of it and you allow yourself to be happy? There is no clear answer for that, from where I can see it. But that's the thing. My perspective is limited. So, one more dim into the bucket, please. Yay! <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm putting on some sandals because I don't know when the students are going to start coming in. So, to wrap this up, we should all be mindful that, unfortunately, we are programmed since childhood to be ashamed of ourselves. And some, a little bit of shame is good, because this is the thing. I think that there is a humongous amount of the population, especially in TikTok, because apparently TikTok collects people with no shame at all. And uh, that they have no shame. They just don't have any shame. And I'm like, that's one extreme that we should address. Certainly we should, and uh, yeah, that should be, I'm not saying punished, but, you know, at the very least, looked down upon. I mean, you do need a little bit of shame. I'm the kind of people who tell, I always say this, a little bit of shame will take you a long way. But the thing is, some of us have a little bit too much of it, to the point in which it's stopping me from being a functional member of society, you know, and having a normal life, or at the very least, one that is not that much of a hassle, like, that has a little bit of enjoyment, like a tiny little bit of it. So, too little, it's TikTok, too much, it's a whole League of Roman Empire. No, maybe not the Roman Empire, because they have plenty of debauchery, but the Roman Catholic Church, okay? It's just borderline upper stay levels of shame. Not saying that I'm not, I'm not, I was never part of the upper stay, please. And I'm not trying to insult anyone from there, but what I'm telling you about is too little is not good for you, too much is neither good for you. So, then the point of the whole video is if you don't have any shame, grow some, please do so. Some of you need a whole load of shame nowadays. And some of us, well, they need a little bit less of shame. And uh, I'm more in that a bit less of shame. I need, I need like a whole body bucket load of that less because it is preventing me from having a normal life not even an enjoyable enjoyable one but a normal one so yeah thank you for coming to my free therapy session and uh <laughs> i'm so sorry for your time and the trouble and if i i don't know i have wasted your time or something like that uh but yeah, if you have no shame, please do so. Have some, please, I beg of you. And if you have too much of it, well, 
We're on a journey to get rid of it, isn't it? It's just a little bit too much. It's not good for your health. It's, it's like any medicine. It has a dosage. And it becomes a poison after that. And, uh, or a drug, like a severe drug. And, uh, yeah. I hope it has helped you, or at least served you in a way, like the time you have spent at watching this hasn't been a complete waste that you could be ashamed of and uh, well until next time I wish you the best and please stay away from TikTok that's a shameful place to be and uh, don't don't waste your time up there just shame on you, shame on you if you do so. And uh, until next time, I wish you the best. Um, yeah. May you all have a less shameful day. And uh, yeah, bye bye.